Hello everyone, Josh here. Today I would like to disassemble a GLS-5500 G Lite Series G-Shock watch in square shape because the battery is already runs out. First, second of all, I'm gonna need to clean it up because there's a lot of dirt in there and third of all, I haven't disassembled this model yet and I found out it does feature a unique kind of construction so let's have a look. If you want to purchase any one of these tools that I'm currently using, or I'll be using, I'll add the purchase link in the description box directly to Amazon so we could support channel at the same time. Let's begin. Okay, let's hold it right there. As you can see, the watch does feature really interesting construction. First being the mud resistant feature with this button guard or button cover. The actual button is quite small in red colorway. All this thing does is cover it up like that and makes the watch looks totally different, even wider. And I'm not a fan of this because it makes it hard for us to press the button, but it makes the watch looks beautiful. It makes the watch looks tougher and it does cover it from mud, which is nice. This one will goes into here, lock uh, sort of like clip underneath here. So that's how it is connected, which is nice. The bezel is pretty solid, feels like most of G-Shock watch. It has gloss finish and it has a pin over here. This pin will lock this watch band as well. The watch band will be screwed with these holes and the pin will go into this hole. So double security over there and plus another a lock with this spring bar down in the center. Since this watch band have this guard on the side or even this support on the side, when you remove this uh, strap, the spring can't go anywhere because it cannot flies out in this way or this way, which is great. So very safe to be disassembled and they are pretty as easy as well. You don't need to exert a lot of force to take it out. So I like that a lot. This will be the back plate, which is I believe similar like most G-Shock watch. It has electric speaker and just round shape o-rings if you want to replace this but it's a third body o-ring and you could just add it in there i'll add a size uh, somewhere down here so this will be the module it represents on the casio not casio cr2025 battery let me try to plug it in first make sure it works and then i'll disassemble the watch and see how the construction looks like because i gotta say it is really really slim for the size of it for the look at that look at how big this thing is the module itself is just this small Again, as I always mentioned, if Casio were to make a small size G-Shock square watch, they could easily do that. I mean, the module itself is just small. They could use the exact same module, just make the hard case smaller. And before I proceed with the uh, module or the uh, movement in there, I need to show you guys one thing. There's a metal cover over here. So this uh, hard case is supported with metal around here. If you notice underneath the button uh, shaft, there's a metal. That is the thing that support this resin hard case even though it is plastic it is supported with metal so i guess that is where the low temperature lcd came from but regardless we're gonna need to disassemble this part as well to fully find out let's begin
okay we're back as you can see this is the metal cover or the thing that holds all of this component down here into place it has Casio tie lens lying over there and ACU operation will be performed on this side over here so this is the battery compartment where we add the battery and also a, this gold spring this is the thing that I want you guys to be very careful of whenever you disassemble this watch there's a gold spring where is it here there you go not, not sure if you can see i'll try that a close-up if i can regardless this thing will determine whether your watch will lights up or not if you swap the battery if you bought a used watch and somehow it didn't lights up look for this thing make sure it is there it usually will be located underneath this metal cover and somewhere inside i'm guessing around here next to the uh spice trick speaker connector spring I can't recall, I almost forgot it, but somewhere around there, there's a place where this thing could be placed into, so make sure you have both of these. Okay, next is the display panel compartment, well, pretty much similar to most G-Shock watch, it is indeed, even though it is plastic, you can feel the quality of it, this is not some regular cheap uh, component that you are looking over here. So this is the display panel, another, not sorry, this is for the EL panel compartment, which is this guy. It has the EL backlighting in green, but since the polarizer have this reddish pink purplish uh, color on it, when you turn on the light, it will appear as, as such it is glowing in reddish colorway, which is nice. Look at that, it has this neon sheets cover at the back. So I guess this will give us an idea if you want to customize your G-Shock watch to have this kind of color display like that. Put some sort of neon paper on the back and probably you could make it work there it is there's this metal mesh yeah it is glued on top of this display i cannot remove it you could feel the texture of it which is nice connected with these two ribbon cable or connector for the display panel and this is the circuit board which looks really really simple though i gotta say that let's see now there we go this is the quartz crystal coil i'm guessing one for this one have this one this is for the uh, timekeeping to make sure the accuracy is on point let's see now i'm guessing this one this is for the auto light function let me shake it up or perhaps this one is built for the auto light functions and another one would be for the coil to light up the el panel over here because it does feature electroluminescence and on this side you'll see a processor a capacitor a connector for the display panel and overall it looks really clean really simple and all of this thing combined will make sure that your watch will have a long lifespan which is great so i'm really impressed with how casio like really plan out the whole thing they didn't just recycle other circuit board and use it in here because i mean some g-shock does have similar function but when you look from the inside they have totally different construction which is the thing that people most of the time would miss out what i need to do now is just to clean this this sorry zoom out a little bit i clean this strap bezel the strap this button i'm not gonna clean the hard case i'm going to clean up some of the dirt around here just swap it up clean it up same with this uh, other part of the back plate remove any dirt dust and all those and then reapply some um water sealant i'm using this silicone grease just apply it over around here and uh, that's pretty much it and usually that is already enough you don't have to worry as much about water getting inside your watch most of the time the de the construction on its own is already built to make sure that water didn't get inside which is great from cast great design by Casio. so you, for us users honestly you don't have to worry as much as long as you do all this properly of course so uh, i guess that should sums it all i'm just going to time lapse the whole thing thank you very much for watching this is ghf and i'm